The Department of Justice is announcing the unsealing of a superseding indictment filed in the Southern District of New York against four defendants, including Nicolas Madero, as well as the current head of Venezuela's Constituent Assembly, the former director of military intelligence, and a former high-ranking general for their involvement in narco-terrorism. The indictment of Nicolas Madero and his co-defendants alleges a conspiracy involving an extremely violent terrorist organization known as the Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia, the FARC, and an effort to flood the United States with cocaine. In 2017, the Colombians entered into a peace agreement uh, with FARC, under which the overwhelming majority of FARC members laid down their arms and have been living within the political structure of Colombia. However, there is a dissident group of about 2,500 FARC members, and they have taken up on the border between Venezuela and Colombia. These uh, FARC dissidents continue to be involved in drug trafficking and armed insurgency. The FARC gets this cocaine over into Venezuela and then is given safe haven by the regime to fly this cocaine from an area called Zulia near Lake Maracaibo up into Central America. Since 2016, this air bridge has been established and has grown five-fold in just those four years. In addition, uh, the regime is allowing these uh, drug traffickers to uh, take drugs by a maritime route uh, into the Caribbean. We estimate that somewhere between 200 and 250 metric tons of cocaine are shipped out of Venezuela by these routes.